Um, all right, so to finish things up here, <clears throat> what do we want to do? We can, well, first, we just select this output. Um, one thing that we might want to do is add our boundaries. So we can either just drop an edge and comp over our input, which I don't really like. Or we could potentially use another select, grab this limit, Apply the edge just to the limit, don't put the comp over it, and then use another component, uh, composite rather, over, to put the edges uh, just between the regions back on top and draw some distinctions there. I like that a lot. Um, one other thing is that we can add some noise or grain. Make that a random, make the seed me.time.frame. Uh, we'll change the output to input minus noise and make the scale 0 0.02. Just gives a little bit of grain, helps out. Um, we can also add a transform, scale it down ever so slightly. Um, and then what else can we do? We can do a noise. Um, no, I really want to do that. We'll just do this comp over background color. Instead of making it black, Try something a bit more interesting and maybe go for a very crispy cream color. Which is nice because it just gives us a little bit of a border. Um, which you may like, may not, but it's a possibility. Uh, one big thing that we want to do is add some functionality for our layers so that we can do things like turn on or off the gamma correction for different layers or the edges for different layers or the highlights fill shade for these different layers um to have some yeah just more interest going on so there's probably a bunch of ways that you can do this Definitely want to get rid of those out. Um, I think there's a bunch of ways that you can do this, but I think the easiest is probably going to be hmm, Here's one thing we can do. We can make the global op shortcut me.name, regenerate. This will give us global shortcuts for each of our layers. Um, and then we can build a component that is kind of like a layer UI. Layer UI. And this layer UI will have different controls uh, that we can use for, yeah, assigning those different layers. Um, and we can do that probably with our replicator as well, actually. So let me think here. I 
I'll give this a global op shortcut as well. And then in our replicator callbacks, let's try this op dot layer UI dot create uh, I'm gonna need the docs for this. What I'm thinking of doing is creating a little UI. Oh, actually, that's probably a much better way to do it. So yeah, forget what I just did. I think what we're going to do now is better. And that will be just making a little UI inside of our master for the parameters that we want to be able to control. And those, I think, are going to be just our highlights, gamma correct, edges, and fill shade. So we can have sliders. Make each of these sliders. Um, so we'll just call this edges. Highlights, fill shade, and then we can have a button that we will make toggle down, if that works, and we'll call this button gamma correct, and then I will also make the button 100 by 20 so that it's the same shape as our sliders. Um, so now if I make my children align top to bottom, and then I make this UI a very simple 400 by 80, sorry, 100 by 80. Um, now we have a little UI that if we change this to a container, we'll be able to see. Um, now, we should also make this UI op UI dot width and op uh, dot slash to mean operator inside of me. Uh, and then grab the height parameter. Uh, I guess the last thing we want is probably a label. So this should not be a button. This should probably just be a text. The text will make the same though, 100 by 80. Um, and then we'll make the text parent to dot name. And we will ask it to always scale to fit. And A hundred by twenty, not a hundred by eighty. Silly me. Make that a hundred by twenty, and now this can be a hundred by a hundred. Um, and now we have a label. And then the last thing I'll do is just I'll just hard code the font size to eight. All right, cool. So now we have this UI. Uh, we need to map it. It should not be too hard. Um, we'll do a merge and then grab
uh, and then grab each of the different channels from my different sliders, wire all of these into the merge, do a chop execute, um, probably isn't the cleanest way to do this, but it'll be fast. I'll define my target op to be equal to parent two. And then on value change, we can just associate our different channels with our parameters. So I'll open my parent parameters so that we have a reference. I'll jump down in here. And I guess I'll do this in the editor. All right, so on value chain. channel dot name is v1 that's going to be our edges uh, so we'll want our target dot par dot edges dot val equals val just copy and paste that a couple times change these to v two three and four Uh, so V2 will be our edge highlights. V3 will be our hill shade. And V4 will be our gamma correct. So let's see how this is working. And yeah, now our UI is nice and functional, which is great. We'll recreate those components. We'll see each of them have these UIs now and they're nicely layered. Although, something isn't working. Oh, that's because I had this extraneous line in here. So I'll get rid of that and recreate my operators and we can see each of them have their individual UI uh, which if I click on we'll just be controlling that one um, so if we go up now we can change this operator to a container we can align the children, let's say in grid rows. And I'll just turn off the panel for our master since we don't actually need that. And now we have a handy UI that will let us change and correct uh, all of our little intermediate layers right from the top here. So we can see that working. Um, maybe be a bit more obvious. Yes, there we go. So yeah, we can see this working pretty nicely. Of course, you could make this audio reactive or do any number of things with that. But I'm just going to leave it there for now. We don't need this anymore. Uh, and then yeah, I think that's a pretty good place to leave things. I think this is pretty developed functionality. Uh, let's see if there's anything else we want to do post wise. So one thing that maybe we want to do is just use another select and actually grab our, um, our limit. I'll drop a level down this time instead of an edge and we'll just wire that right in. Um, just wire this in 
um, and then put it up at the top. And then we can use this opacity uh, to determine how much of that overlay we're throwing on. So this is just going to result in a more washed out appearance. Um, it might be desirable. In some cases, it might not. Uh, so we can customize our component. Maybe I'll just drop that opacity on there. And we'll call that terrain, uh, terrain overlay opacity. And then last, but certainly not least, uh, you can just do a bit of overall adjustment with the gamma and brightness. This is generally just going to be the taste. So if I turn off our panel for the palette, and make sure that I give us an out. We can start to use our different options here with our position and value quantizing, as well as our step size. to really create a lot of different looks here. So I'm not sure why the UI disappeared there. Oh, that's why. Um, so the UI disappeared when I recreated those operators because I turned off the display flag for my master. Um, because we don't want the master to display, but we do want all of these to display. So what I should do is just turn on this display flag in the callbacks. Um, so I'll just add a quick line here, and that will be c.par.display equals true. And now, if I jump up here and change my it's not working. Recreate all. Okay, our UI is back. That's good. We can change it back to grid rows. Um, yeah, and now we have our ability to interact here in addition to changing our other uh, parameters. So that is the end of our generative maps in touch designer tutorial um i hope you guys liked it and learned a few things the jump flood algorithm uh, using replicators and maybe even creating some uis with replicators i will once again say thank you to all of my patreons uh, your support is truly great and uh, show me what you guys make. Let me know if there's stuff that you would like to hear tutorials on uh, that I haven't been covering. I will not promise to do everything, uh, but I do like the suggestions and some areas for exploration. So with that, I will leave it here and I will talk to everyone later.